Hi, my name is Takakagawa. I am a product manager of professional camcorders at Sony Professional Solutions of America. And I'm Tom Cubby, sales support engineer. And in this tutorial video, we'll be taking you through the network functions of the PXW X70 and the brand new PXW FS5. In this tutorial video, we will explain the network features of the PXW X70 and PXW FS5. These two models have the exact same wireless features in terms of file transfer and live streaming. The type of wireless technology these cameras have is Wi-Fi. It will require a Wi-Fi router to get network access. There is another wireless network interface that you can use which is the Serra 4G LTE. However, in this case, you will need a mobile hotspot or a smartphone which has the tethering function activated. It is not possible to use USB dongles available from cellular carriers. To use 4G LT public networks, you will need a mobile hotspot or a smartphone with tethering service activated. Having the network connection, there are two major functions you can use with our camcorders, file transfer and live streaming. Both the PXWX70 and PXWFS5 can record full resolution files and proxy files at the same time. And you can send these clips from the field to an FTP server or cloud service. As a result, you can make a copy of your clips from a remote location. On the other hand, live streaming can provide real-time images with low latency but may have frame drop or digital noise depending on the network bandwidth. Therefore, file transfer and live streaming produces different results for different applications. Let's start with live streaming configuration. This graphic shows how to set up the network connection to stream live images. The PXWFS5 can use Wi-Fi to connect with smartphone or mobile hotspots which have 4G LTE service. Press the menu button located on the side of the camera. Use the multi-function scroll wheel located on the side of the camera or the joystick located at the rear of the camera's hand grip to navigate down to Network Set. After selecting Network Set, navigate to Wi-Fi Set and select. Select Access Point Set. Then choose the desired network from the list and if prompted, enter a password. Choose Manual or Auto for the IP address and determine whether or not this needs to be a priority connection. Finally, select Register. Return to the network set and select Streaming. Here you can configure up to three presets. Let's select preset 1. Determine the streaming size, either 640 by 360 or 1280 by 720. Then configure the destination set with the target IP address and appropriate port number. Select OK. Select Execute, then choose the appropriate connection method. To start the stream, Press the thumbnail button located on the side of the camera. To end the stream, press the thumbnail button once more. To decode live streaming, you will need a decoder which converts the data to a video output. Sony has been working with Teradek, and we have tested these four devices which can decode live streaming transmitted from Sony's camcorders. It is also possible to use a laptop computer for viewing the live streaming. A free software called VLC Media Player can decode the streaming and can output the video if the computer has an HDMI interface. This graphic shows how you connect the camera to send clips to a remote FTP server. Actually, the network connection on the camera side is identical to those of live streaming. You will need a mobile Wi-Fi router. It is possible to use FTP or Secure Transfer FTPS. For FTP file transfer, select FTP Transfer from the Network Set menu. Just like the streaming settings, you can modify up to three unique configurations.
If desired, rename the display name and select OK. Configure the destination set with the appropriate information. Add your username and password, then select OK. To choose the desired clips you are sending, press the thumbnail button located on the side of the camera. While in thumbnail mode, enter the menu and select FTP transfer, choose the desired server, and select execute. Determine the connection method and select full resolution or proxy files. Please note, multiple files may be selected at one time. A status bar will now appear showing off the progress of your transfer. This wraps up the network features of these two camcorders. I hope the tutorial video was helpful. For more information, go to www.pro.sony.com. Thanks for watching.